Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Rutter, not Rutter 3, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition replay. Spawn on top or the right side as the red Japanese. We have Ares, Wuzrun. Spawn on the left side as the Cyan Spanish. We have Flightless Bird. Let's take a look at both players' uh, civilization bonuses. Japanese, of course, the infantry civilization. Vision ships gain times two health, plus two pierce armor. Work uh, a little bit faster per age. I don't think there's any water in this map, so it's completely pointless. Lumber mills, mining camps cost a little uh, less, which is nice, but nothing critical. Infantry attacks 33% faster starting the feudal age, so it does not affect the militia rush. Unique units, samurai, which is a unique unit that specializes in hit, uh, killing unique units. Yasamala, shut towers shoot extra arrows, can be very effective, so now they fire, they will fire three arrows once that's research. And the Kapatopuro, tributaries fire fast and pack faster. They pack so quickly that if they lob their rock in the pack up, that rock when it lands, deals zero damage, so be careful with that. They also think it increases the accuracy, but I could be mistaken about that. Team bonus, galleys uh, have plus 50% line of sight, which is going to be worthless in this map. Over for the Spanish. Spanish gunpowder and monk civilization. Lotus work at 30 percent faster. Blacksmith uh, upgrades to cost zero gold. Cannon gallons benefit from ballistics. Gunpowder units fire 80 percent faster. Oops. And I was not paying attention. Now we do have a militia rush man at arms timing push. That of course allows them to get the now the faster swing speed, increase their damage output. Go ahead and cover the bonuses as this gold camp is under siege. Then you can just close the Conquistor, Mountain Hand Cannoneer, granting a, um, well, a more or less a Mountain Hand Cannoneer. Increased mobility, damage, and the, starting in the Castle Age. And got the uh, position. Unique text, Inquisition monks convert faster. This banish also has full milk technology, so you get some very powerful monks. And Supremacy, those are stronger combat. Trade units, of course, uh, provide extra gold, but of course, that's worthless in a uh, 1v1. Men arms and the scout are still very much alive over here. You got a militia or a men arms attack as well, but he is getting ward away by a single archer over here. Got the militia or the men arms trying to engage these forces and being pursued by an archer of science as well. You may try to rush down that archer. We've got a skirmisher here as well. Scout trying to hit the skirmisher. Skirmishers do have minimum range. And looks like this archer is not being micro properly and will get overran. The scout should finish him off. This archer does go down over here. We've got now the man arms engaged in the palisade as he starts trying to repair it up. And do have this little gold uh, walled on in. Cyan just building more villagers and skirmishers at the moment. Red is eyeing skirmishers and villagers. Got another pair of archers here. Getting some good damage onto the men at arms. The men at arms currently right now have one pierce armor, and the archers do have four uh, damage, so they will do three damage per arrow. Over here, you got the skirmishers and the crossbow and getting overran by the men at arms. These men at arms are quite wounded. And it looks like one of the archers did get overran by the man-at-arms and the scout. The scout may have got them killed there. These man-at-arms are falling back. A bit too much range force there for them to be any sort of effective. Now the scout's pushing way forward to gain some good damage onto these forces. The scout does in fact go down. And the man-at-arms just down to two members. Science Scout is in this region. We'll find the man at arms. Neither side attacked each other. He may even on hold ground stance. In fact, they didn't even slice and hold ground stance. Maybe they're on no combat stance. Not sure. Looks like the all the aggressions died down a little bit, so let's go and fast on forward as we got the skirmishers, scout, killing the wolf. And now they're gonna advance on forward. We do have looks like uh, force of eight versus a force of six. 
but I think Scions is quite wounded. Red does lose a skirmisher there. Looks like a skirmisher went down for Scion. The archers are falling back, and they could try pushing forward once again. Another skirmisher goes down for Red. And it's another, his final skirmisher does go down as well. We do got a watchtower being pulled on out. Skirmishers don't have the highest amount of damage right now. They do have the plus one range attack, which means it increases their damage output by 50%. Is still not exactly great. Archer's going on down as well. Let's throw some villagers inside the watchtower. Get some good hits there. Gets another double kill there as well. That watchtower did Hi. some good work. It did its job. This is going to be reinforcing this wall with a stable and house. And looks like science building up a more wall here as well, including a market. Scout advancing forward with the support of the archer and skirmisher. here he is got a palisade wall there that's not a watchtower he's getting a lot of housing here but this uh house will like to go down that whole house does go down minor loss good number of skirmishers in this region two archers and one scout as well and he's going to try to find an opening there those are there's no opening there they're all blocked off by the trees over here, it looks like Red's eyeing for a counterattack. A small group of archers does have Palisade Gate here, and it looks like it's fully walled off. Nope, there's an opening here now. And now we'll go straight to Lumberline. And maybe a what hole here as well. It's hard for me to tell, but it doesn't look like it. I think this tree is blocking it off. And he will spot this opening, but will he actually Please. spot it himself? This uh, village, nope, and he does find the opening there, and now he has breached the walls. No, nope. not necessarily a breach, or more or less just walk through the a big opening. Multiple villagers are going down, they do have two natural pierce armor at the moment. And it's going to take time to build a quick palisade wall there, which is stop his movement, and looks like science coming for as well, but Red has the support of a wolf. But all of Red Forces does go down. The Wolf is still petting the Skirmishers. Getting some great damage right there. Looks like the Scion has advanced the ca uh, Castle Age. Red, it's Castle Age is done. Now let's see what both players go for. Do you have, looks like the Axe upgrade for Red. Don't see anything else just yet. Bodkin arrow for Cyan. He's going for more range uh, upgrades. And looks like uh, Cyan did lose a scalp there. Wait. Okay, he's going for range upgrades with uh, the elite skirmisher upgrades. Like, wait, he's Spanish. Why is he going for range upgrades? But he just wants some good uh, skirmishers. Red, on the other hand, is going for some knights. Remember, that's a Japanese player, so he's not going to be infantry just yet. He may not go for the champion line. He could just go for just samurai. Samurai, of course, are good against elite units, or unique units. Though against conquistadors, they are more mobile than samurai, so maybe not. All depends how many... Uh, uh, Conquistadors is going to pull out. Oh. We've got another house being built. We've got more housing going to be built along that fence line. Really, a fence line, not necessarily a palace a wall line. Palisade line. And actually, let's destroy both of those uh, housing there. 
The red does have plenty of population space for housing. So destroying those is fine for the moment. It does cost them 50 wood, which is not a significant amount. It looks like red is going for wheelbarrow. Do we see any additional towns that is for blue? Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit since they're all in the economic uh, state in the game. Both sides are starting to boom. We got a single skirmisher, elite skirmisher base four. We also have a monk brought up by red. Red has already claimed a relic. Claimed that relic as well. Sign in pursuit. And does manage to get a conversion there off of the knight. And does reclaim the knight with his own monk there. Very nice. And that reclaiming the knight did save his monk from being just killed by his own knight. And now Red's knights are advancing forward, gaining some great hits down the skirmishers. The monk does go down. Skirmishers can potentially fight these force. There's actually a scout in the mix as well. The scout does go down. But knights should get some good work done. He's a folk sound. Uh, I suppose the archer's not so great at this point in time as well. It's Spanish archer. And does get the claim there on the full, near full health uh, knight. Very, very good. Red has currently two relics. Has that other relic been claimed? I can't try and see what the monster is. There's the monastery. Let's see this relic up here, spotted by Red Scout. This one. Let's see if how much. Uh, Red does not know about that relic. And down south, we've got this relic being claimed by Cyan, and I do know Red knows about that region. If you send over a monk over here, you may actually spot this relic here. But they are keeping it nice and safe. Let's go ahead and go ahead and fast forward. So we do have a villager engaging the scout. He doesn't have uh, supremacy just yet, so the villager is not extra powerful. He does deny the production of this uh, outpost. And Red may have spotted that relic. He does actually brief, get a brief skim there with that scout engaging that villager. And Red will claim himself a third relic, and he is where before. Cyan has claimed one relic. And now we do have a defensive Ford Castle for Cyan. Nothing aggressive, more just a Ford defense. Just also got light cavalry upgrade for us, Red, and now we've got a massive wave of structures being pulled up by Red, including University, as well as a handful of archery ranges. He's going to go for a crossbow, potentially Arbalus uh, mix. Got more light cavalry being pulled out. Japanese can deploy out. Cavaliers, but not Paladins. They can deploy out Light Cavalry, but not Hazars. Now, do I have some Conquistors deployed on out? Conquistors have excellent damage. Scouts, however, do receive extra damage versus Elite Skirmishers. And the Scouts will, in fact, go down. Cyan just got his Imperial Age. Red is now stored his Imperial Age, and he's also queuing up Bodkin Arrow. He's going for an Arbalus transition. Cyan's pushing away forward. He's like, we'll deploy, deploy out a forward castle. There's a little bit of high ground. will be a great spot. I'm not sure he's deploying out. He may be a bit more aggressive. He may be eyeing for her over here. He is going right there, and that is on the high ground as well, so that's a great spot for our castle. Red's currently researching the Thumb Ring as well as his own elite skirmishers. Let's take out one of the villagers there. Red will need to pull out some a castle to get out some trebuchets and engage Cyan's castle. Skirmishers gonna to try to slowly break through. He does find a palisade wall there. He has made a, made a breach. Good hits there on the villagers. Number of villagers have gone down. Red is behind the villagers. Has 96 versus 128. But science force is relatively trash. Or at least composed of trash. So a wave actually of swordsmen wouldn't hurt. Probably could get long swordsmen uh, research. We got ballistics being researched by red. They hear multiple sets of arrows firing about. Red's town is doing a good job. Light Cowley charging forward. Sina has his castle deployed and now Trebuchet is now engaging Red's town center. It's not looking good for Red. 
Got also the elite skirmishers in the mix as well. Red can't be losing his villagers. He needs these villagers to help him build one. He's probably in his town centers as well, so his villager count will remain lower than his opponent for quite some time. Skirmishers are getting good number of swords have been deployed now. We do have multiple trebuchets now, and some conquistadors have been deployed out as well. Red does lose his town center there, and this town center is under siege as well. It's only down a good number of town centers. You have about, I think, two remaining. It's getting Pracer researched. The light cavalry will be affected versus the skirmishers, that's for sure, as well as hitting these trebuchets, but the problem is the trebuchet is still close to that castle. A number of Red's villagers say will have gone down. He's down to 90. Blue's maybe gone a little bit too high villagers, but doesn't have a huge resource stock. Probably we do also have a massive reserve of stone for Sion. He may be eyeing for another castle. Sion streaming forward his light cavalry. At least skirmishers have been both of them fully upgraded for Sion, but not fully upgraded for Red. He's far from it. And Red is back out of the game. He just had struggle with his economy this entire game. This is Anna Grace saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.